Hi, this is Paul with the Tenant File Property Management Software, and uh, I'm going to take you through a quick run of the RentalWiz program and show you how that works and how easy it is to operate. First of all, we're starting off in the uh, Tenant File main menu, and I'm going to just quickly show you where the information comes from. So if you get into uh, any tenant that's in the system and you click on Features, then you can get the features for that particular property and you'll see you've got four major categories here and then you have minor categories here which uh, change uh, depending on what you click on. So uh, every one of your rental units have uh, features that you can set up in them. The one I'm going to concentrate on here is uh, Willow Street B and these are already filled in. These are just uh, information. You can put whatever information that you want to in here. And some of them have drop down choices that you can change yourself to make it easier to pick from a list rather than having to type it in. And here's a description and here's an image. So I'm just going to exit from here. And I'm going to make this for fun. I'm just going to make this tenant vacant. Okay, now this tenant is vacant, but the features are still there. So let's go into the Rental Wiz program. And the place that you want to go is Show Rentals. And what this does is it provides a list of all the uh, tenants and properties that you have in the tenant file. And under Display, you can see it's set for all. So if we want to just show vacancies only, there's the one that I just made vacant a few seconds ago. And what it does is when you select this, down here it pulls in all that feature information. See, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and all this information. I'm going to go back to all, and you can see at the bottom as I click different uh, rental units here, that information changes. Also, over here, besides pulling up all and just vacant units, you can uh, choose uh, all the ones that are going to move out as of a certain date, or you can choose expired leases, so that's real handy. Most of the time, you're going to work with the vacancies because the purpose of Rental Wiz is to upload vacancies to the Internet. Here's how easy it is to upload something. I'm going to pick this, Willow Street B pulls in all the information. There's other fields that you can enter down here. I'm simply going to go create listing. And what that just did is it created a website for this particular rental unit and it's already on the internet. Let's take a look at it. Go to listing website. Instantly created a web listing and if I had selected three or four different uh, properties that were vacant, I could have uploaded them all at one time, and this would show all four of these in a row. And it shows your contact information, your email addresses, and it has a little location map. It has the image, the address, the description, and the, uh, some of the detailed features down at the bottom. And you enter this and you enter this. I'm going to close this. And now I'm still in the Rental Wiz program. We created the listing. We went and looked at it on the internet. Now I'm going to syndicate the uh, selection to the web. What that does is it takes this listing and it puts it up on the internet to like Google Base and Oodle and different syndication sites that will make your property available when people are looking for a place to rent. It's all done. That's all you have to do is one click. And now I want to create a Craigslist ad. What it did is it created a ad that I can simply paste into Craigslist. So I'm going to highlight all this code and press Control C to copy it. And I want to go into Craigslist and I'm going to create a classified ad, housing offered, houses for rent, and 
And so uh, I forgot what the rent is, but I'll just type in 795. Let's say it's uh, three bedrooms. I'm not going to actually upload this, so what I type doesn't matter. And I remember I copied that code a few seconds ago. I'm just going to do Control V to paste it. And I'm going to hit continue. And look, here's your Craigslist ad. Everything is in there. It's got the picture. It's got your complete listing. And all you have to do is save this ad. So instead of taking a long time to create a Craigslist ad and uh, put a picture in and everything, the uh, RentalWiz program does that for you all automatically. We haven't even left the program. It's right there. Ask if I want to close this. And I'm back to where I was. So that's it. Uh, it is so amazingly simple and so amazingly powerful that uh, it's going to be a real big help to uh, tenant file users. I'll go through the whole thing real quickly just so you can see everything as you can do it. Go to RentalWiz, click on Show Rentals, look for my vacancies, highlight the ones I want, create a listing, take a look at that listing, Syndicate it to the web. Create a Craigslist ad. And exit. Uh, one of the things you do have to do is upload your pictures uh, to the website. It's very easy. You click on miscellaneous, upload photos. You pick the address that you're uploading for. It's Willow Street B. That's the photo that I was previously using. Just to show you, I'll pick a different photo this time. How about that? that one. Click on Resize Photo and Upload Now. And I've got a different photo. Now I've actually created a new listing which overwrote the previous listing. That's it. Check out RentalWiz. It's a great program. Talk to you later. Bye.